question number 47. The question states the complex having tetrahedral geometry is. If you look at the given options, you will see there are two complexes of nickel and one complex is of platinum, other is of palladium. If I talk about platinum and palladium, the complexes of platinum and palladium have the nature to show square planar geometry generally, not the tetrahedral. While if I talk about nickel can form tetrahedral geometry, in which case that we need to know. So first of all, you need to just consider that I'm talking about nickel and what is its atomic number 28? Electronic configuration of the nickel, argon, 3d8, Four is 2. Now, if I look at these two options of the nickel complexes, nickel is there in plus 2 oxidation state. So, very simple to write here in plus 2 oxidation state, it is having 8 electrons in D subshell. Now, let me fill here the 8 electrons. This way. Now, we have the two ligands. One is chloride and other is CN, cyanide. Which is a strong ligand? CN, that's a strong field ligand. While the Cl negative is a weak field ligand. Weak field ligand is not able to cause pairing in the d orbitals of the nickel. So, what will happen? The hybridization will occur and that would be sp3 hybridization. What happens? I will just once again show the electrons in case of d orbitals of the nickel and the hybridization occurs and we have this sp3 hybridization over here and then the ligand. What is that? That is chloride ligand. It will occupy these hybrid orbitals, sp3 hybridization and that results in the formation of tetrahedral geometry. Similarly, if I talk about CN, that is a strong field ligand, it means it is able to cause pairing of the electron. This one electron will come here and that will cause back pairing it is called and that results in the formation of hybrid orbital dsp2 and that is why the geometry would be square planar. Understand? Yes. On the basis of this, we can simply say the only one complex is here that is showing tetrahedral geometry is tetrachloronicolate and that is why I will choose option 1 as my correct answer. I hope this question is clear to you. Now the turn is for the next question that is question number 48. Now students, let us take question number 48. Which of the following is a diidentate ligand? The question from the coordination chemistry and yes, the question is asking you to identify the diidentate ligand based on denticity of the ligand and we know that if a ligand has two donor atom, it considered as diidentate ligand. In water molecule oxygen atom is the atom that has a lone pair of electron and it is responsible for its denticity but yes, it is monodentate ligand. Similarly, chloride ion, monodentate ligand it is. Ammonia, nitrogen atom is having a lone pair of electron and it is also monodentate ligand. And if I talk about didentate ligand, oxalate ion is that ligand. To understand this, I will just mark the structure of oxalate ion, this. And it can easily donate its electron and see. In this case, when metal ion come in contact with it, it is showing its didentate nature. That is why easy to choose it as the correct answer. Option 4. Let us take the next question. Question number 49. The complex used in the treatment of cancer is coordination chemistry has very important role in medicines also and if I talk about the treatment of cancer, the compound, the complex of platinum is used for that and that complex is cisplatin. Cisplatin if I talk about 
that has this formula. Cis PTCl2 NH3 whole twice this complex not this one this is transplatin it is not the correct one that is why my correct answer is here as the option 4. Now the turn is there for the last question of this Anthe 2019 paper have a look on that. The oxidation number of the central metal in the complex given here. This is the complex of nickel and the central metal atom is nickel. Now let us find out the oxidation number of nickel in this case. This ammonia is neutral ligand you know that. Now let us assume the oxidation number of nickel is x plus 0 because neutral ammonia is here as a ligand and further for chlorine it is minus 1 and 2 chloride ions are there that should be equal to 0. So on that basis the value of x is plus 2. So what is the oxidation number of nickel in this case? Yes. The oxidation number of nickel is plus 2 and that makes option 1 as the correct answer. I hope all the questions are clear to you and you have attempted all the questions correctly. That will give you very good scholarship. I hope so. All the best for your results. Thank you so much for watching.